first day of classes at the good old University of Florida. By the way, if I'm kind of groggy and whatever, it's because I just woke up not that long ago. <laughs> Dang it, getting used to this morning waking up business already. Um, but I guess it's good to be back. It's been about a year, I had to take a quick break. If you consider a year a quick break, just from responsibilities due to family issues and yada 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 but all that to say is that I'm back at school this semester I'm taking two classes and then afterwards I'll be working on my thesis getting that done and God willing afterwards I'll be um, done with everything that I have a master's in urban regional planning Woohoo. a few things that I've actually missed from the University of Florida one of them being the architecture building which I particularly do not like it's like the architecture building again is the ugliest building in the university uh, especially when they just build like an 18 million dollar building right let's say about what 500 feet away from this building and it's absolutely beautiful you would think the architects will be housed in a really cool looking building no not for the University of Florida anyways but it, you know it has its charm it really does um, I'm just being facetious I actually uh, as you can see, it has like these really cool. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you around. I have what about 15 minutes before class starts. Here, let me show you around. So you can tell it has this really big atrium right here. People play like uh, oh, after they get out of studio, they play foosball. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know what's this thing called um, frisbee, soccer. I've seen them play soccer from the from up there. <laughs> throwing the soccer down here um, it's pretty interesting to watch but uh, these cool little windows right here those right there um, they were actually designed by one of our professors if my memory serves correctly which I believe was Alfonso Perez who actually was one of my professors in the architecture program he was awesome he is hard but he's awesome I learned a lot from him um, let me see and then the architecture building has this cool little area right here where people, I mean, you can't really tell now, but um, when the sun is down, people sit around here and sunbathe. And while we're up in studio above, right up there somewhere, uh, we can actually look down and look at people sunbathing. It's actually pretty interesting. But right now it's under construction, as you can tell by the green fence right around over there. Um, what else? It has plants. Look at that, plants, um, people walk by. Oh, uh, I don't know if I can show you guys this, but uh, we have a pretty cool looking gallery. Let me see if I can walk over there. Walking over to the gallery. So here I am in the University of Florida's showroom, if you will. I forget these names, it's really bad. <laughs> but uh, it actually brings back a lot of good memories because my work at one time, at one point, in my life as an architecture student was displayed here and uh, yeah so I like to stop by here once in a while and check out the other architecture students work um, and I'm not gonna spend too much on this stuff because obviously I probably don't have permission to be showing this kind of things I don't know I hope I don't get in trouble uh, but I'll show a little bit I'll show my favorites and kind of give comments on them can't spend too much time because class will be starting here in a bit but this is actually pretty cool. It's a really cool armature, if you will. I see a good mixture of secondary and tertiary scale. The uh, primary scale with the plexiglass here. But that's part of the ground figure, or the ground of the site. I would say the primary scale will probably be that massive box right there in the middle. Pretty cool. I'll probably add a more defining feature, but I like where it's going. Let's see. <clears throat> this looks like a process. Scale right here. No, actually. Uh, bug models, I'm assuming, bug models. Tiny little charrette models, if you will. All pretty nice. Pretty nice. I probably should go in and give you guys a 
more detailed look, but as I said, this is a quickie because I have to rush over to class. Oh, class. Some really nice photographs, if you will, photoshopped, where people photoshop their models into contexts. And uh, that way they can kind of convey a idea or a thought behind their design process. There's some more bug models. These are actually pretty cool. Um, I think the designers of these models were playing with ground, but different materiality as well, in order to come about a composition. I like it. I like it. Um, this is actually a really nice ground. I like the ground. I don't entirely know how the intervention fits into it, but I like the ground. This right here, I don't know exactly what's going on. Um, don't know. I like this right here a lot. Um, the only thing that I would have with it is that the red really stands out, but then again, maybe that's the whole purpose of it. Um, but I like it. It's really cool. But see a really nice... Um, <laughs> in my terminology, flow. But there's an armature going about. Projections all defining a well from what I can see all defining a hierarchy or a movement through a site maybe that right there can be the right in the middle could be the intervention it's good I like it this right here I really like right here really cool stuff I really like what they're doing here. All good stuff. I mean, they they do wonderful, wonderful work here at the University of Florida. Um, and I have to go to class. So, that is it for now. I have to go to class. Um, I guess I will do some more video later. I like this light. Hmm, maybe I should start doing all my videos from here. Ah.